Hey y'all, I'm back with a scrapbook process video and this time I'm going to be creating a really simple layout using some of the papers and ephemera from the Pink Brush Studio Up in the Clouds collection. I think this is an older collection, but I received these goodies um, a while back after I had finished my term with the Pink Brush uh, Studio design team and um, it was kind of around the time I wasn't scrapbooking as much. I think I was like close to, I think it was either expecting or close to having or either have had had the baby or something like that anyway I remember you know I wasn't scrapbooking as much so this is like the first time I'm really like diving into these papers and I love them like it was so hard for me to cut up this paper because there's only one of them and I used the I as you can see I used a big portion of it for that title or not the title but the word love on the side that went, goes down vertically and so that's the other side of this circle paper and so I was having a really hard time with that because I was having to give it up but part of the reason I'm doing all these videos and I'm you know doing a lot of embellishment videos is to use up my stash so that is you know the main and I always have to tell myself there's always going to be great stuff that comes out and a lot of times it just like companies like this and other collections just get better and better so that's kind of what I tell myself um I'm using a picture from our maturity shoot maternity shoot and um, it's just like a simple I think it's like a three by three or maybe like a three and a half by three and a half photo and um, I love that size that's probably like my favorite size to work with and um, it's so easy to layer up papers behind but this is like I said gonna be really simple it's one of those layouts that you really can't add a whole lot to like underneath or around because the design is a design and you can't really like mess it up and so you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here in a second I didn't want to layer too many papers underneath I did want a pretty good contrast but I didn't want to layer too many underneath because that paper on the right is obviously very like bold and there's a lot of colors going on so I didn't want to like add I didn't want that to clash I didn't want more colors to clash with that paper and then um so I, that's why I chose that kind of brighter blue paper and then I thought this paper might be another like good option too. So I think I did decide to go with those two and that was pretty much it. I didn't really want to layer any more photos or any more papers because of the other colors that are going on on this page. Also, I had I had punched out those circles as you saw at the beginning and I know that I'm going to use some of those and I don't want to, you know, there are a lot, those uh, circles that are punched are resemble or are very similar to the colors or are the colors in this collection and so I don't want to go overboard. This heart uh, wood veneer piece, this cluster of hearts came with this collection and I you could use it like where you put the, um, they're not puffy stickers but they're like, are they like epoxy? I don't really know. They're almost like an acrylic feel but they're not and they're might, they might be epoxy stickers and um, you can place them on there or you can use the wood veneer as is and I used it as is and I will use some of those hearts later on. So I decided I didn't want to go too overboard with those circles with adding them all down the um like in a line or a diagonal to the photo. I just thought that that was a little bit too much especially since I had that heart uh, cluster of heart wood veneer thing going on and so now I'm just looking through the ephemera and I really love this one I think it said this way to happiness or something like that and honestly like I kind of could care less what it said I just think, thought that it went like perfect the shape and stuff went perfect <laughs> right there and then I added a little um, arrow up at the top that says like hooray and then a little label and I think I'm going to add a wood veneer right on top of that label. So you'll see me pull that out in a second. I'm kind of looking through my other things. And this is where I get to that point where I'm like, I really don't know what else it needs. Because if I add something on the right, it's way too much. If I add something on the left, it kind of messes up the whole design. Like wanting your eye to go from like across, you know, across the page and or diagonally. And so I'm looking like at my homemade embellishments that I made. I think it was my previous DIY embellishment video and I do pull some of those and use them just as little elements to add while I'm kind of thinking if I want to add like add anything else that's bigger but at this point I'm kind of like I don't think it really needs a whole lot more so I am kind of looking at these thickers and I'm like well I kind of maybe I'll add a pop of black and then I'm like but all those words are on the side of the page so I don't really think that that goes although that doesn't look bad 
I didn't really, I didn't quite like it. And so I decided to add some of these little hearts that I was talking about earlier. And I actually added two pink right diagonally from each other. And I didn't think that that looked good. So I pulled that one off and um, I decided to add a little bit of mist and I'm going to be so sad when I run out of that mist that is pink lemonade by October afternoon and they no longer make mist anymore or yeah, they no longer make mist. I, I think that they're still a company. I'm pretty sure they are, but, um, I guess I just haven't, since I haven't bought anything in a while, I haven't really looked, but they don't make mist that I know of. If they do, please let me know. But if you guys know of a brand that's very similar to their mist, it's just very pigmented, but it seeps like right into the page and it dries like almost immediately. And I love the colors. Like this color, like I said, is pink lemonade and it went perfectly with this page. Um, I punched a couple of little uh, die cuts like the heart, I'm sorry, the flower and the butterfly from different papers and then I'm just going to add those around the page and I think I pretty much finished it off with an enamel dot right on top of that flower and I love this layout Um, it's simple and didn't take me a whole long time to do <laughs> that did not make sense it did not take me very long um but I really love sometimes just doing some simple layouts so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this process and let me know if you have any questions I have some final photos coming up <music>